prologue. There is a person called Tim Unwin who uses social media. And he has posted five pictures on Twitter and Facebook. He invites you to look at them. There was a young boy who loved running. He loved running. He ran at 16 a 2,000 meter steeplechase. At the first water jump, he broke his leg and he finished the race. Subsequently, he did go on to complete the first London Marathon. As a student at the best university in the world, he was inspired by Marx's theory and Habermas's critical theory. <laughs> Scene one. A little boy holding, sorry, a little girl holding his blind brother, holding her blind brother's hand by a car on the streets of Chakradapur in what was South Bihar, now Jharkhand, in 1976. I was working for a dear friend who was studying the hearts in rural India. I was doing my PhD on the mathematical modeling of medieval, system sy medieval settlement systems, programming in Fortran, and wondering, doing wonderful models and dreaming that technology is indeed going to change the world. Walking through the hearts, talking with the poorest people I'd ever met, I learned that poverty is not about economic growth. Poverty is about reducing inequality. Scene two. Some street children in Nazareth in Ethiopia playing with my Sony Vio. Do you remember those? In 2001. I loved tech. Those of you who are here at the new millennium, we dreamt we would change the world. We dreamt there wasn't going to be any more war. We dreamt that this kit was indeed going to make the world a better place. I had an immensely privileged job, an opportunity to work with people across Africa to understand how they can use technology to improve their education. Scene three, crypto anarchy. I learned how powerful technology was. I loved it. I'm a geek. I was programming. I was designing kit. And slowly, slowly, shui shui, slowly, I learned that this kit could be used to do as much bad as it does good. And yet we choose to believe that it will make the world a better place. Somehow the novelty of the young geek still survives. Technology will deliver the SDGs. As Ted has said, what a load of rubbish. What a load of rubbish. Technology will do nothing. Technology is designed by people such as us, for particular interests. And it can then be used for good or for bad. Please never again say that ICTs are going to deliver the SDGs. People creating ICTs or could use them to do something that might help eliminate poverty. Scene four, a drone with a machine gun. Hence, the assassin, the drone with the machine gun. I have a young colleague who is a brilliant computer scientist developing the algorithms for search and rescue drones. Now, we could use autonomous drones with face recognition in cluster swarms to take out anybody you want. Now, is that right or is that wrong? The use of technology for development is above all a moral agenda. Scene five. Scene five, three Afghan refugees in Pakistan, alone. The people who we want to use our technologies to transform their lives. How wrong, how wrong. We've already discovered on this journey, this short journey, that it is 
who designs the technology, for what purpose, in what interests, that is going to change the world. Friends, we can choose to serve the interests of global capital, or we can choose to serve the interests of my Afghan refugee friends, of people with disabilities, of women in patriarchal societies. And our greatest gift is the privilege we have had. It's the education I have had. But not to use that to say I am in some way good or successful. It is friends, colleagues, take away one thing. Become the servants of the poor if you really want to impact development through the use of technology.